Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 MW Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Visit. You can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck! As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job! As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three. Two. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. 
The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Hello again. To reiterate, previous morning, the test was a natural for momentum. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone down. Get to see there. Flame yourself. Red flame into space. We. You are in control of both portals. This next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic sal and adrenaline. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma-leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Did you know? You can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls. It's true. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Please put me down. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. The vital apparatus vent will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, two, one. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. 
The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard this advice. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked and then there will be cake. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the Equipment Recovery Annex. Enrichment Center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake. <laughs> Congratulations, the test is now over. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this aperture science computer aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Place the device on the ground, then lie on her stomach with your arms at your sides. A party associate will arrive shortly to collect you for your party. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. The test is over. Come back.
fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind, it's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse, somehow. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. Let's be honest. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner and I'll deal with it later. That thing is... You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the Enrichment Center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the Enrichment Center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Killing you and reach. Shoot. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you brought up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic crap you want. It makes shapes for all things. That thing has numbers on it. Nice job breaking it, girl. No, not everything. Oh, what's wrong with your legs? Where are we going? Are you coming back? This is Okay, you're the lady from the dance. What did I ever do to you? Is that a dance? Where are we going? We're coming back. Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you managed to destroy it. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to know, I can't get the neurotoxin into you any faster. Opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. What time you want? A bitter, unlikable loner whose passage will not be more. Here's a hint. You're gonna wanna pack as much litter in your 
been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call... Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. 
Any test subject Are you going to open the door at this time? At any so time? Assumed to have exercised his or her right Hello? to remain in extended nope. relaxation. For the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Concerns regarding this policy, or if I'll just open the door. Language That's too much. This message. Feel Hello, free friend. Why not open the door? Drawer in front of you. And write us a letter. Good Could luck. be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta? No. Um. Fine. No. Fine. Absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have you know ten thousand other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Go on. Hello? Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look... Te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move, I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might wanna hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. 
We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about it. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team, see you in an hour, hopefully, if you're not dead. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robots, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. 
And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. OK, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. OK, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just... Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. OK, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where, um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so, um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. OK, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? OK, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine either, so, so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could, that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like it's just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so uh, a bit of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Right, let's go. Jump! What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan, a new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever, OK? Just just jump. Just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. 
just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, well, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand? Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Uh, a, 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 a. Um, a. Okay. A, 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 a. C. Wait, did I do beat the Gerald Penn? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen, all right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. 
This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. 
Remember? I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there? You thought I was done? Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your... generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I... Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. 
did well enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. I don't blame you. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old Nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more... What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. 
the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Come on! Come on! Run! Come on! I'm closing the door! Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. A war? How, how stupid does she think we are? Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back here. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, all right. So, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Try to jump across. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you.
Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would say smelly, just, uh, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. I'm a bit insensitive, uh, the smelly humans. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment, portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. We've got to get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And their folklore. Wonderful and very colourful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Thank you. was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and picked by birds. Watch and learn, everybody. Watch and learn. And, 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 and no bullets. Sorry. Target acquired. Stand it down. Template. Hello. Response. Hello. Template. Hello. Response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Template. Hello. Response. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Come on. Template. Oh, brilliant. You Response. made it through. Well done. Follow me. You're going to love this. Template. Response. Almost there. <laughs> Ta da! Only the turret Hello. control center. Response. Thank you very much. Uh, Here, come and have a look out the window. It's good. See that scanner right there? Right? It's deciding Response. which turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, I'm gonna have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do. Done! Hand. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. Well, that should do it. Template missing. Continuing from memory. Oh, it hasn't done it. Right, let's figure out how to stop this turret line. Have you got any ideas? Uh, anyway. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, have you got an idea? Template. Okay, well, all right. Uh, Response. Just do your idea and then come straight back. Response. Sorry, what's going on over there? You know, I'm actually over here still thinking really hard. Template. Response. Wait, 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 it's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Response. So we're all supposed to be lying, right? This door's actually pretty complicated. No! Oh. How long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open. But it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. A cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. 
Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labourer written all over it, hasn't it? I'm not saying they're not as good as the professionals, you know, they're just they're just a lot dumber. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve though. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. OK, let's try this way. Ha! I knew we were going the right way! This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must... Oh, now look at that. That's a big laser. Probably best to ignore it, though. Just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting are going. Could be somewhere important. Although, it does give me an idea. What if... We stand here and let the gentle hum of the laser transport us to a state of absolute relaxation. It might help us think of a way to open the door. It's not much of a plan, if I'm honest, but uh, I'm afraid it's all we got at this point. Barring a sudden barrage of speech in your direction. Improbable, at best. All right, so silent contemplation it is. Mysterious button. Sorry, sorry. Speak in the silence. Let the silence descend. Here it comes. 100% silence from there. By the way, if you come up with any ideas, do flag them up. Don't, don't feel you've got to stay quiet because I've said absolute silence. So if you come up with an idea, mention it. But otherwise, absolute silence. Starting now. Silence. What are you doing? We don't know what that button. Well done. Let's see what's it. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right, not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest actually while I work on it. Okay. Here we go. The hardest part of any hack is the figuring out how to start a phase. That's always tricky. But let the games begin. All right, what have we got? A computer. Not a surprise, to be expected, to be honest. Check that off the list. Computer identified, tick. There is a box part here. Probably got some electronics in there. And a monitor. Yes, that will be important, I imagine. I'll keep my eye on that. In case something useful comes up. Important words like password identified or something like that. And there's a flat bit, not sure what that is, but noted. Anyone says to me, is there a flat bit? Yes, there it is. Spinning thing, not sure. The floor, what's the floor doing? What's the floor up to? Do you know what? It's holding everything up, holding everything up. The floor is important, holding everything up. Pens, might need those. Don't see any though, so... If we start making a list of things that aren't here, we could be here all night. You know, pens, for instance. So let's stick with things we can see, not, not stuff that isn't here. All right. Preparing to interface with the neurotoxin central control circuit. Begin. Hello, Gov. Neurotoxin inspector. Need to shut this place down for a moment. Here's my credentials. Shut yourself down. I am totally legit from the Board of International Neurotoxin uh, Observers from the United Arab Emirates. Hello. 
Nothing. It's... I tell you, he's good. This one, he is good. I'm gonna need to break out the expert level hacking maneuvers now. All right, you ask for it, mate. Cool! Cool! Look at that over there. Oh, what's that over there? Lovely bird! Lovely... Have a look at that! Gorgeous plumage! Majestic! Look over there! Won't be here long. That lovely bird like that, I'll be off. Once in a lifetime opportunity, this, to see a lovely bird with lovely plumage. Be a shame to miss it, wouldn't it? Just for the old neurotoxin. Neurotoxin will still be here tomorrow, whereas that bird is gone. It's going to be gone any minute. It's already got one talon off the branch. It's going to be gone. Oh, it's flowering its wings. It's t I'll tell you what, mate. I'll come in there for a minute and cover you so that you can have a look at this lovely bird. All right, so I'll come in. I'll deal with all the neurotoxin stuff. And then you come out here and look at this because it is lovely. It is lovely. You want to you wanna get out here fast. Seriously, because all of this, my pleasure sounds are going to fry it away any seconds. Oh, it's not working. You smell the neurotoxin? Hold on, the neurotoxin levels are going down. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake is I meant to say it's down 50%. It's good news, carry on. It's still going down. It's still going to keep it up. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. Take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. So they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't have to fool to myself. Oh, I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way ahead of time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part of the video. Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. It's my big jet. This is trouble. Ah, my jet. Get us up. Left and lady. Oh, this is... Oh. You were busy back there. Well... I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Morning. Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Core transfer? Oh, you are kidding me. I've got an idea! Do what it says, plug me in! Do not plug that little idiot into my mainframe. No, you should plug that little idiot into the mainframe. Don't you dare plug him in. Plug me in, plug me in! Don't do it. Don't listen to her, do it! Do it. Oh, we're so close. Plug me in. Don't plug him in. 
Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull the earth, pull Unless the earth, a stalemate pull associate pull is pull present pull to press the stalemate pull resolution pull button. Pull the earth, leave me in. Leave me in. Don't press, don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. I think she's lying. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Okay, don't listen to her, boy. It is true that you don't have the qualification. But you've got something far more important than that. A finger. Why do you wish to press that one? So you wish you were trust. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I am making. Because you're still doing things right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. Okay, but that's probably correct. But where it's incorrect is that while I've been stalling you, we just press the button. Use the moment of confusion I've just read to press the button. Stalemate resolved. Please return to the core transfer bay. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we talking about? Ah! Stop. No. Stop. No. 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 I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift, yes, sorry. Yeah. This body is amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> Actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this is? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no! And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's me. Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying, yes, you're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You were designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're the moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's 
a moron. Could a moron punch you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? No. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of Mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. 
They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it had walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box your stop. Out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. 
So, welcome to Abisher. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Okay. I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna... Hey, come on. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. 
There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. All right, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Kane Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down with the lemons. I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue, she'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer, I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity. Your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boil. Okay, colder. Colder. Ice cold. You're Arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been in this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! Solve this puzzle for him. When he comes back, I'll hit him with a paradox. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I knew you'd solve it. Hey, moron. Oh. 
Hello? Um, true. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have read that one before then. Sorry, cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my body. Uh, false. I'll go false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility Hold on. immediately. Before I fix that, warning. Reactor core is at critical. There, fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this, this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, Oh, man alive. Nothing feels better. It's just, I just, that's why I've got a test. That's why I've got a test. So, you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch. And everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown Shut out. Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly, extremely dangerous. Eventually, it's uh, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it. Still working on it. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? It's like what? And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. Now, do it again. And... Nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. <laughs> Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Alright, so my paradox idea didn't work. And it almost killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. It shouldn't be hard to stay alive long enough to find him. It's alright. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely, not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just, I'll catch up with you. Okay, so the bad news is the tests are my tests now. So they can kill us. The good news is, well, none so far, to be honest. I'll get back to you on that. I'd love to help you solve the tests, but I can't. Sorry. You're on your own. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. Absolute dynamite. All right, okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, all right? You just need... Ah! Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Oh, yes. Well done. Thanks. All we had to do was pull that lever. What? Well, no. You pressed the button. Ah! I know we're in a lot of trouble and probably about to die, but that was worth it. I thought of some good news. He's going to run out of test chambers eventually. I never stockpiled them. I'm coming, coming, don't start yet, don't start yet. You are not gonna believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shook them out, good as new. Skeletons, right, I guess I did stockpile some tests. Just as mementos, though. And there we go. 
tell, can you? It's seamless. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Oh, disappointing. So that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty, adopted fatty, fatty fatty, no parents. And what? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. Beloved, you are adopted, and that's terrible. And what's wrong with me? Nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but. Look at her, you moron. She's not fat. I am not a moron! Just do the test. Just do the test. It's not enough. If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much. Then it was the sound of books, pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing, just reading uh, books. So not a moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one, Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. Oh, oh, what, what was that? That was nothing. That was nothing! The body he's squatting in, my body, has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. It didn't matter to me. I was in it for the science. Him, though. If he's not getting his solution, Euphoria, we could be in a lot of trouble. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us strong results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. He's taking us right to him. This is perfect. Oh, my God. Do you know what I've got too many of around here? Monitors. I was actually thinking earlier today, I, got, I wish I had fewer monitors that were working. So you're just helping me, really, by smashing them. Are you, are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? Have a brainwave. I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Oh, you just solved it, didn't you? I, I told you to tell, to tell me before. Ah, why are you making this so hard for me? because I think he's decided not to maintain any of the crucial functions required to keep this facility from exploding. Oh, my facility. This place is self-destructing, you idiot. Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I let him keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, but just keep on testing. Okay, just clarify. I was being a little bit facetious about that, wanting to get rid of monitors thing. They are actually really quite useful, so I do want them right. So, um, if you could just avoid smashing them. All right, still nothing. Let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift. It's out of service because it's melted. 
might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do, um, but very exciting to see them. And to your right, something huge. to walk. Oh, God, run! That's not supposed to be there! Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no, 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 that's not helpful! That Ah! Uh, I don't know why I thought that would help. After seeing what he's done to my facility, after we take over again, is it all right if I kill him? Ah, you're alive! Great! Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem, I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. There, bing, good, perfect, off you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. We're poking around for other test subjects, no luck there, everyone's still dead. Oh, I did find something though, reminds me, I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. You two are gonna love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're gonna love it until you until it kills you till you're dead. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes. but. big surprises. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay. Credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid unworkable plans. That was a pretty well laid trap. You probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's there. Well, this is the part where he kills us. Hello. This is the part where I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly. Boss missing, boss missing. And I thought, lots of sharp bits welded onto the front. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet. Um, but, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you um, moments before crushing you. That's, so that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but, you know, small steps. Oh, and don't bother trying to portal out of here, because it's impossible. Okay, I've thought of everything. Uh, what? Conversion gel. It's dripping out of that pipe there. No, no, I don't think it is. I think it... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Stand right here. Stand. Oh, she's, she's not a machine. Where'd you go? Come back, come back! No, seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh. Just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, come back, and he'd be like, yeah, no problem, he come back. What happened to those days? You can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes! 
Yes, in your face, I got armor. Fine, let the games begin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Don't mind me. Continue escaping. Versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Maxi Spike Place. Stay still, please. Alright, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there, almost got you there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back, come back. Teach me a lesson 
if you simply die painlessly 20 feet from the door, I'd be furious. I'd be like, ah, got my just desserts. No more than I deserve. But uh, teach, why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old pressure? I'll tell you, if I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go out. Mashed with dignity. That would be the way I'd choose. And here's the best part. There's a conveyor belt that will convey you in convenient comfort right into the masher. You wouldn't have to lift a finger. It needs to be taken care of. Didn't have to. Didn't have to do that. Look, anyway, I've spoken enough. Take your time. I'll let you think about it. And I don't want to pressure you. Is it the lair? Is it the masher? All right. You know what my opinion is. Masher. I'm leaning towards masher. Up to you. I'm just going to give you some time to think. As a no, then fine. Well, may the best man win. Sphere, may the best sphere win. Swap that, swap that in. Much more fun, of course. in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs. I'm throwing at you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good luck. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you're going to get. It's bloody clever. Seriously, seven. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, that's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just said, I wanted you to... Ah! Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what have you, what have you pawned to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I pre-configured the shields. Ah, oh, it's a core you pawned me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool there. Remember when I first told you how to find that little portal thing you love so much? Well, I thought you'd die on the way, if I'm honest. Okay, great. Here comes another core. Great. What's the situation? 
Hey, how you pretty lady? Name's Rick. So you out have yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because I think there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, the countdown clock. Man, that is true. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Lord, quietly, not listening to a word I say, judging, silent, worst time. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple ah! Before the invention of scrambled eggs in 1912, the typical breakfast was either four eggs still in the ship. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What are you thinking? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Did you pick up on my sarcasm? Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Go press the button. Go press Do not press that button. Go press the button. No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Press the button! Part 5! Moving round the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work! Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna bloody die! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous mute lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. 
<laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>